Hi guys, I'm Nagata Chung, and welcome to my reaction for Demon Slayer uh, Season 2. So, previously, the guys kind of spread between different places and are trying to figure out where is the demon hiding, what happened with the wives. Yeah, well, one wife is already caught. We, like, they show us the demon very, very soon, very quickly. <laughs> And there's like a lot of episodes left, so I wonder like what will be happening about that. How they are going to approach this. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm just going to start, so starting it right now. Okay, Edo Yoshivara. Edo, isn't that like alt Edo? Edo. Ah, it's an old name for uh, which which city? Ah, I forgot. Okay, we are having some kind of drama now. Hmm. Welp. That's not going to end up well for you. Yep. Damn, look at her clothes. She has like so much on her cell. Did you saw it? So much clothing. Yeah, but given that they are what well, they are, they have like at least that's what I've heard that uh, the opening is so beautiful. Cartisans have like more colorful clothing and this kind of stuff. And like their obby I think is like at the front. Right, because Geishas have it like at the back. But I think at some period of time it was kind of interchangeable. It's just they set the little rules later on, I think. <clears throat> yeah, this opening is really good. I really like it. Mm. Even the animation is so smooth in the opening. <laughs> I don't think this is going to end up well. <laughs> For certain people. I mean, the opening is so cheerful. What are you? Okie dokie then. Tokyo, Yoshiwara. Well, sir knows his stuff. Okay. You know, you can see that stuff is 3D. Okay, we now know where exactly it is. Ogimata House. But it still blends so well, I like it. Not like many studios can blend 3D with 2D so well. But they usually use it for background and it's like the best one. They've used it for characters and that one was shitty. Makila. Poor girl. She really likes to use her name. Lady? He is so pretty. Oh my god. Kyogoku house. So what is he doing? Yeah. I guess he's really good at it. Wouldn't she like change her name? 
Oh, damn. Yeah, they probably don't want to talk about it much, at least openly, but they definitely talk about it. I'm crying. <laughs> Zenitsu, who are you, a younger brother of Sanji? Well, of course, they do the job. Ouch. That probably hurts. It looks like some kind of cloth looking stuff. Oh my god, this looks so good. Probably. Well, then your senses are probably right. So that's a good feeling. What should you do, huh? But be careful! Oh, damn. Damn. You need to chill, sir. But that's a clever way how to do it, for sure. I don't know, probably to hide somewhere. <laughs> the girls must be so confused, like, what the frick is happening? Yeah, it probably can go outside, so it's going to be hidden. Oh no. Inosuke, you are getting overboard. I understand you're trying to help, but I don't know if this will help you. <laughs> Well, I feel like they're going to throw him out of here because the commotion he's making. But well, that's bad. And that's what you need to learn. <laughs> I guess he says a lot of things to learn, but he's trying. It could be dangerous for the woman, though. Zaitsu, you need to dial down your screeching voice. It will scare her even more. I don't know what is happening, but seriously. It could be this kind of trouble. I've heard this little girl crying, I was trying to help. Yeah, probably it is. Sneaky. Apparently she is very sneaky. And strong. Just answer honestly and normally. Probably. She is beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. What a behemoth. Behemoth. Everyone is so scared of her, which I'm not surprised. She has a terrifying attitude. Oh, look at her kimono. So beautiful. Well, 
I really loved our clothing. So beautiful. So many layers, so many colors. Good girl. Ouch. That would be a lot of cleaning to do, lady. Well, understandable that Zenitsu cannot help himself. That poor little girl. But I would not be surprised if... I mean, there was a lot of rivalry in uh, districts and places like this. No matter if they were geisha or oirans or courtesans, whatever. <laughs> Why do you put a lot of chicks together? Yeah, that's bound to happen. <laughs> a lot of rivalry. Oh! That was cute. Mm. You're able to do flowers like that? <laughs> She's like, what, what, what should I let her do? Tanjiro, maybe slow down because you are being a little creepy right now. That's a little creepy. Oh, he's helping. Okay. But that's creepy, Tanjiro. Like, slow down. <laughs> are they not going to, like, get it that he probably is not a girl but a boy? I just wanted to ask, what the frick are you doing? <laughs> They're probably like, girl, are you okay? You're weird. You're so weird. <laughs> the lady is like, what the fuck? What the frick is this kid? Damn, she's going to tear her poor ear. She's very beautiful, though. But terrifying. She really loves to call him ugly. Zenitsu is cute. But not in that makeup. Understandable. Damn. She is very mean. <laughs> you would think that she would try to be like as much not on the nose as possible, but I guess because she has a high position, she can do stuff like that. I would assume that people in high positions in these places would do a lot. Ooh, they're not happy with her. Well, because you are causing so many people dying and she needs them for this business, lady. Yeah. True. That's why she was like looking away. Okay. There are stories. Hmm. She's the same, I guess. Mm. Like you, lady, are doing. Okay, so there have been, like, legends about them. Which makes sense if they've been around for such a long time. They're demons, right? Oh, damn. Oh, damn it. So it was Tokyo. Edo is Tokyo. That was just in the past.
Damn, she was trying to get rid of her. Oh! You are floating, lady? She is very beautiful. <clears throat> I don't think she's stupid. She tried upper six, okay. <laughs> Damn. So she just like kills them and she eats the younger ones. Refined tastes, I guess. Okay, so that's why she died. She killed her. Because she was like, um, you are causing a lot of commotion here and a lot of people are dying and I don't like it. And I've heard stories and I think you're not a human, so I think I'm going to get rid of you. Okay. Oh! Hello there. Oh my god, her attitude changed so quickly. So... Yeah, exactly. Be careful. Yeah, you start getting very comfortable and not paying attention to many things. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Okay. Ducky is her name. She's cute. Oh my god, the way she looks at him. He knows how to talk with her. Oh, damn. She has a nice record. That was a nice scene. He knows how to talk with her and I don't mind Muzin being like that. That was very manipulative and I really liked it. But usually he's extremely petty. <laughs> oh damn. Damn. People are so scared of her. Oh, damn. Mm, we cannot have this kind of commotion, please. We need to earn money, please. Yeah, but she needs this place. Work here and such. Eat people and such. I really love her clothes. So beautiful. <laughs> so, where like these ladies working here as a humans and they were changed into demons later on? Mm, she's suspicious. Guys, guys, why are you showing yourself? Yeah, that would probably end up differently. Guys, I think you're acting too rashly. Hmm. They might have been working here as a humans. That would explain their attitudes. <laughs> right? Hmm. 
Well, it would not be a surprise, buddy. Okay, ending already. Okay. Okie dokie, Dan. How this ending is so cool. Okay, skipping. Okay. You okay, buddy? Who are these girls? The triplets? Ah, uh, you got punched really hard. <laughs> Really hard. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. That's so nice. But I mean, he protected one of them. Stood up for her, so... Oh, what are you talking about? You're supposed to be a girl. <laughs> you are such a dummy. Oh, okay. I can imagine. Yeah, this is a rough business. Very rough business. If they don't climb up, uh, I don't know how they end up, actually. <laughs> to have at least some kind of, like, respectable position, right? Well, they probably, if they don't climb up... Uh... Okay, you end it like that? Come on! <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, Christmas arc. Oh, okie dokie then. Um, uh, well, okay. That's why you're dressed in white? I don't know. Oh. They came. <laughs> what is this? Why are you dressed so weirdly, guys? This is not Halloween. Yeah. This is not Halloween, guys. They probably don't know. It's a foreign stuff for them, probably at this point. I don't know how much foreign it was at this time. Okay, I'm I'm liking this arc quite a lot. Like, it started kind of eh, but now when we are like in the district, it's very interesting and I'm I'm quite liking it because the pacing is not that fast, which is good. And they're like slowly showing on things, which is pretty good. Yeah. So I think I'm going to give it 7.5 out of a 10. I really, really like this. Yeah, please continue like this to the end. Please. <laughs> please do it. So the guys kinda met the demons, at least Zenitsu met the demon lady and she wasn't very happy with him and like that at the end doesn't look very good for him either. Inosuke was after other lady but she escaped or she was like in the attic so she went somewhere and he couldn't follow her and he lost her. We don't know about the other one where Tanjiro is. Would there be, like, more? Because they've said there are, like, multiple Oirens or, like, uh, with the uh, Hime name, which means princess. I assume it's in this context. Yeah, that, that would be very about our attitude. Makes sense. <laughs> if there, like, would be a demon lady too, maybe. I guess it's going to get interesting even more than it is now. Yeah, like... There is that one with a cloth stuff, which is one, uh, she's an upper six, right? She's extremely strong. And the way she talks to Muzan, she adores him. Like, super extremely adores him. I guess because he gave her power, right? That would kind of make sense. Yeah, I want to know more about them, actually. 
because yeah if they were living here since they were humans it would make sense about their attitudes yeah like they just change into demons but still continue here that would like really really make sense because it's not easy peasy <laughs> right to be a courtesan it's a extremely harsh place you need to really climb up to at least achieve something and to be able like to pay a debt you have right because they are clothing you they give you lessons they uh, give you food they give you roof where you can sleep and this all kind of shite yeah so you need to pay for that Oh my, and like it, it's not easy. It's not really easy. Only like the very respectable ones and ones which climb really high, like Orans and this kind of stuff, can escape if they have enough money. But again, it depends. Like if the person they work for would be extremely shitty, they can like not let them out. But I think there was like some kind of special stuff for things like this, definitely. Yeah, like, if you are not really good, you probably end up, like, in the lowest of the lowest, right? Not even, like, in a respectable house. And you will never climb up from, like, this kind of job. And you would be stuck there forever until you just die. Yeah, I guess that's what happens. Because if you are in a good house and you are pretty good at what are you doing, I assume you kind of can get out of it if you have like a lot of good patterns that that's probably what might happen i mean there could also be someone which will kind of buy you right if they really really like you but i don't know how often that was happening with oirans and courtesans right i don't know how often that was happening if that was even happening probably there are always people like this <laughs> But I would understand it maybe with geishas, with oirans, courtesans. I don't know if there was like someone who would like buy her out of it and just, you know, wanted to live with her. Maybe there were cases like this. And she then could consider herself a very happy person, very lucky person. So I'm very glad that they like showed us uh, this is not a very nice place, though they only showed us like these uh, demon ladies being very harsh and horrible, but in reality like this kind of stuff was happening. There was extreme rivalry, uh, the chicks were definitely mean to like apprentices, right, because they did not have time to pamper them because of the business they are in, yeah. And like not all of them were able to kind of get all of this pressure and like it's even with geishas it, it was extremely tough so like if you weren't able to kind of overcome the bullying and the pressure and this kind of stuff yeah it probably did not end up well for you i don't know like how many of these girls committed suicides i wonder i mean they definitely were trying to like maybe prevent it a little but i don't know how common it was yeah like like i said this is very fascinating to me <laughs> so i i really like this kind of how stuff kind of works and uh, how we saw stuff with these demon ladies yeah it, it's very intriguing and I, I want to see their motivation. I mean, yeah, they are demons, but still, I wanna, like I said, I want to know more about them. And like, why they are stuck here. Why they cannot move somewhere else. I mean, it's a very lovely place. A lot of humans come here, right? If you're having your job here, it's easier for you to kind of eat humans and get stronger. I guess it makes sense, kind of. But again, there is a lot of people at one place, so... It might be easier for, like, Hashira to come here and, like, you know, something is suspicious because there is many eyes on you around. But the lady, like, killed many Hashiras already, so she is very strong. I guess that's why they're like, we don't need to move away from this place. We already, like, established we are freaking strong. I killed so many Hashiras so I can deal with the problems. Maybe that's why. 
it's like their fortress, right? They don't need to move out because this is a comfortable place, there is enough food, uh, they get stronger. If come if Hashira will come, they can kill them easily because that's what they've been doing previously. Okay, understandable, I guess. Understandable. But I definitely want to see more. Okay, so I'm going to continue with episode 4 right now. Okay. Okay. These children are cute. something oh pins they are beautiful okay And that seems cheerful for now. For how long though? <laughs> okay, skipping the opening. Ooh, that was too much. Tonight. What will happen tonight? Oh yeah, mm, something happened. Was he abducted? Yeah. Oh, huh. what is he doing? He doesn't seem very pleased. He must be... Is he scared? We don't have a time to worry about this. Okay. Never angry her. It seems like he was doing some kind of economy shit. <laughs> okay, so they're meeting and talking about stuff. I don't think we will understand much. No. No. Can you speak like a normal human? Inosuke, you are really bad at this. Oh. Yeah. What? He is Hashira. And Shinobi, former one, but still. Well, about that. And originally, you wanted to take a girls, which probably weren't even demon slayers. Well, that's bad. You should still always be calm. Yeah, that's really bad. There definitely is. Do you really think they will be like, yeah, we'll leave Zenitsu here, who cares? I think you're underestimating the boys. Well, that's true, but like, this is not what they are doing right now. It's not about survival. First off, Inosuke is trying to find the demon, and second off, Zenitsu is missing. But I understand it from his point of view. He, like, doesn't want them to get hurt because he involved them in this. He has responsibility.
Okay. So that one flower, I mean butterfly girl, was higher ranked than them. But like, what the others? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Right? Okay. He doesn't remember much. Uh, why would we do that? <laughs> oh, I guess that they will know which kind of rank you are. Wouldn't that be dangerous? Yeah. Maybe if both of them would be together. I mean, that's true, there is demon in his house, like, uh, saving Zenitsu, dealing with that, oh my goodness. <laughs> and there seem to be no one found still in Tanjiro's house, or the house he is in. What are you doing? So, priorities? Inosuke, calm down. Could be underground. Well, da. Yeah. Yeah, more sneakily. Like I've said previously. Yeah. There are too many eyes around. Well, just don't get ahead of yourself. Work together. Yeah, you need to work together. Okay, because you can save Zenitsu and find about the demon, so just calm down. This one seems very nice. And they are cute. Okay. She is also beautiful. I mean, all these ladies are. Even her kimono. Oh, why are you coming here? Why don't you go to the guy? Yourself. I don't understand why he's coming for, to this girl. I guess. <laughs> you weren't very good at that, boy. Why don't you go to the people? Why are you going to this chick? Uh. 
Uh, okay. But. Mm, understandable. She spent so much time with all of these people. The fact that Tanjiro trusts her so much, <laughs> she could be just pretending. Though Tanjiro probably would understand if sense if she was a demon. The dungeon set. Tanjiro, you are very, very trusting, you know? Like, extremely trusting. Super trusting. Oh. Hello there. Okay, so she is taking her. Like I said, you jinx it, Tanjiro. You jinx it. She came here and is going to eat the chick. You shouldn't come here. There. But like, she said she's going to eat her no matter what, I guess. Because she is, like, going to... She wanted to eat her because she would be leaving. Like, like, that would be super suspicious. Still, I think they are very careless about that stuff. Like, these demon ladies. Then he went back. Oh my god. I mean, that's to be expected. Inosuke just can't wait for a little longer. What the hell are you doing? What the frick is wrong with you? What the frick? I guess he hid his sword somewhere. Uh Okay. <laughs> this lady freaking out, like, what the fuck is this? Oh. He knows stuff. Yeah, you probably should answer. Well, that's what are you pretending? He seems to know, but he's too scared. To even investigate it. He's too... <laughs> uh, I wanna say poor dude, but like, he's having this business, so... <laughs> Okay. Thanks for what info, dude. I mean, he must be so terrified. People are dying, right? And disappearing. And like, that lady is sus as heck. There's these legends or stories going around. People probably know about. Yeah, they just are putting things together, but they are too scared to do anything. Well, we don't know, we don't know, maybe they're like 
going to take some crazy actions because you're on their tail. Even though this place is very like good for them, right? So they might try to protect it as much as possible. Late? Oh, this lady. She's still here. Absolutely, definitely, he's there. Damn. Well... I guess that's her way of eating people? Why are you getting so pissed? Calm down! Lady. Just calm down and think. Some of these demons are just so easily triggered. <laughs> like, come on, use your brain. Calm down. Yeah, that was an interesting push. Strong push. She must be extremely strong too, because she ate so many Hashiras already. Yeah, you should not be able to fight her at all. And freaking Inosuke is doing his shite too. Oh my god. Yeah, plus the box. Well, wow, you are quick to get. The Assume it is if it, it's. <laughs> If it, it's not obvious as heck. Okay. She is really good looking. Okay, I'm not scared of you yet. Maybe... Oh. Why don't you... Why don't you ask her to fight with you? She done that multiple times. And she is pretty strong. I don't understand that. Like, yeah, she is his sister, but still, he can use her strength, right, and fight together. And then, if they would, like, train together and fight together, they would be, like, even way, way stronger. I don't know, I think that's, like, kind of dumb of him. If she is so strong, and she proved that she is very strong. I don't know, Tanjiro, I think you are getting quite ahead of yourself here. Rengoku wasn't able to kill that dude, and now you're thinking what another upper rank demon, and you think you're going to get away from it? She doesn't sound impressed at all. Crap. How does her abilities work? Ugly, you have interesting sense of beautiful and ugly lady. From what? <laughs> I don't think Zanjira showed anything you can be fond of. Right now. I don't think so. No, 
There is no way. You can try, but this is like a death wish. He should have, you know, run away with a lady, tried to get Inosuke and Uzui, and fight here with the, like all of them fighting here. That would be probably the most smartest thing to do, <laughs> because there is no way Tanjiro would be able to defeat her. Rengoku wasn't able to defeat Akaza. Like, he was getting close, but he wasn't able to defeat him. And Rengoku is like way, way high up. And now like Tanjiro wants to fight his lady. Is he suicidal? <laughs> Dude. Seriously. I mean, if he would try to run, she probably would go after him, so he probably would not be able to, but like... He should have been thinking more cleverly about that. Okay, skipping the ending. About here. What the hell are those weird mice? Uh, okay. I don't know about that. These mice kind of creeps me out. Not gonna lie. I don't know. These mice is <laughs> creepy as heck. Okay, Noska. Yeah. It's just Tanjiro went ahead instead of meeting with Anosuke again. Like, he should have met with Anosuke and then together they could have, because he sends it, they could have gone there trying to, you know, catch this demon lady. Do you understand? Because I don't think he has skills to defeat her at all. Like, come on. And if that will happen, it's bullshit. <laughs> It's like freaking BS bullshit, whatever, but it would be. Yeah, I, I feel like they would have a better chance if there would be like more of them fighting this lady. Maybe three of them all together, right? Because she is very strong. She already killed many Hashiras, so like she must be very, very strong. I don't know, Tanjiro, I feel like you, you're asking for someone to kill you right now with that behavior, right? And I understand demon slayers slay demons, but like, maybe use a little bit of brain while doing so, right? Right? Because no wonder so many demon slayers are dying if they are so dumb like this. Oh yeah, we're going to slay demons, rush up front, we don't need to use our brains to form a strategy. Because our even if our enemies are like super extremely strong, right, and they're like superhuman strong, why we need a strategy? <laughs> oh, I'm not really surprised that so many of them are dying. Maybe they should like have some kind of teaching stuff at the start to teach them how to go about this. Because it, I I don't know, I just don't like the way they are approaching this. That seems so dumb. Right? Like, use your freaking brain. Yeah, and Zenitsu is missing. So, like, what she did to him? So, she is not eating them. She's, like, kind of hiding them like that? Or what does that mean? I'm confused about her abilities. Like, the demon lady. She is really cool, though. I really love her design. She is very impressive. What happened to Zenitsu? I want to know. Maybe she wants to, like, still ask some questions, right? Because she was interrogating that lady, the Uzu's wife. Maybe she can like store them inside her cloth tentacles or whatever they are. I don't know. I don't know how they work. They're supernatural beings with weird powers, so yeah. And like, I would think Uzu would be able to find the demons more easier. Where the hell is he? Shouldn't he, like, be able to sense this lady? If, like, Tanjiro was able to sense her? I would guess, like, he would be the first one to find the lady. Even if they are, like, masking their, themselves. 
Well, okay. I hope like next episode he will come there and like fight her and send Tanjiro, I don't know, somewhere else to find Zenitsu or save the lady or whatever because I don't really think Tanjiro has anything up his sleeves to fight her. Even his like, I don't know, uh, sun breathing, whatever, I don't think he can defeat her at all. Like, come on. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a 7 out of a 10. And we'll see, we'll see. But so far, this arc, not that bad. It definitely went better. Because the first episode was kind of like, yeah, I, I wasn't a big fan of things they were doing in the first episode. But things got a little better. But again, it's just... When the episode is focused on Tanjira, again, this episode is focused more on Tanjira. And I don't really like him as a main character much, because the stuff they are kind of doing, like, there is so many plot armory things and, like, conveniences and his attitude, which I don't like, that every time he is, like, the main focus, my excitement and entertainment kind of goes down. Because the previous episode wasn't so focused on him. I really, really enjoy that. Yeah, so, like, when it is not about him, I'm really enjoying these episodes, which is, like, so horrible because he's the main character. I just... I am having really big problems with him as a main character. <laughs> oh, God. Because I feel like everything went stupid when he is around. That's not really funny. Yeah, so I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.